Hey everybody, this is Kale Beck, and this is another episode of Strongman Garage, and I'm going to do a quick walk around of my new truck. It's a 1999 Chevy Silverado Extra Cab 4x4, black as you can see. Somehow, photographs and video better than it looks. It does have black paint. I guess you're going to see my reflection in it a lot. Uh, and it's fairly scratched up. It wasn't... I sold my 68 Suburban, which if you follow my channel, you would have seen in a previous video. And I realized it's the first time I haven't owned a truck since I was 13. I'm 34, so it felt kind of weird. You can see the scratches on the bedside right here. Unfortunate. The ugly fading pinstriping, which won't come off. Pretty stock overall, already put new tires on it. it has the matched camper shelf in the factory, which is nice. Uh, but the reason why I bought this truck, because I wasn't really looking specifically for any kind of truck, was that. It's a manual transmission, and I really like having manual transmissions, and they don't really exist anymore. But more than it being uh, just a manual, which I saw that in the photo, it was a very badly put together Facebook ad. Uh, a couple things I've fixed so far, uh, which I'll go over in a video. This was broken, this handle, the inside handle still broken, but that one was pretty expensive. Tier is fairly clean. Also replaced the center console lid. These are on eBay for like 20 bucks. It looks a little better. Headliner's peeling, but I'm gonna go back to all that. So this is why it was special with the manual because it has a V8, 4.8 liter uh, LS V8. Good shape, everything runs great. Very rare combination in general, let alone in an extra cab with a 4x4. I only could find one other one for sale nationwide. And usually those are somewhere rusty and I live in California so this one's you know, have a speck of rust or anything on it. Just a lot of little things wrong with it. I've replaced some of them so far. Uh, you can see the interior, a couple cigarette burns, headliner is really bad, driver's seat bottoms all worn out, carpet's pretty dirty, needs to be shampooed at least. Missing some knobs on the radio but pretty much everything works. Starts right up. Of course, manual shift. Five speed. It's fun. I used to have a uh, 2001 Ford F-150, which is a complete base model with the manual and the V6. Single cab, which I sold because I got, <laughs> you know, I had my son who's uh, a year, about a year and a half now. And the single cab doesn't work anymore manual transfer case which is awesome has a brake controller has a 373 rear end four-wheel disc brakes the list of the options right there more of the things that don't work you can see the door hinges are pretty worn out the remote mirror doesn't really work. I ordered a new switch. We'll see if that works. Parking brake. Doesn't work. The passenger side power door actuator. Doesn't work. Just the driver's side. I know it's open so that might have a thing. I think it needs a new battery. That's how much volts it's showing without it on and it's having a problem uh, pressing passing smog because of that I think because nothing's cycling through I've driven at 80 miles which should be enough um, it passed smog you know like running the emissions but the computer hasn't cycled through and still driving it um, how many miles has it been so far 121 miles it still hasn't so I think the battery's just a little too low so I'm going to replace that later today replace some other stuff so far the driver's side seat latch I think it's either the, either the spring's broken or it might just be this 
The screw just might be loose, so I'm gonna play around with that later today, see if I can fix it. I'm uh, gonna go through and flush all the fluids, remove this pinstriping somehow on it. The clear coat on the roof is the worst cosmetic problem. But all in all, it's a good truck. Paid under $3,000 for it, so it's hard to complain too much. Oh, here's a, another fun one that I found. Gotta love messing with these old cars. Here's another fun little feature I found is there was a piece of electrical tape running along the pinstriping, which looked like it was kind of in the shape of a bow tie. So you know, I'm like, why did this thing have electrical tape? So I peeled it off and it was keyed pig. So it makes you wonder the story behind that and what happened.